My name is Linda Conrads. I'm an author. Every year I discipline myself to write a novel. My novels are very successful. I'm well off. That is, I have plenty of money. I am 38 years old. I am ill. The media speculate about a mysterious illness that prevents me from moving freely. I haven't left my house for over a decade. I have a family. Or rather, I have parents. I haven't seen my parents for a long time. They don't come to visit. I can't visit them. We seldom talk on the phone. There is something I don't like to think about. But, at the same time, I can't not think about it. It has to do with my sister. It happened a long time ago. I loved my sister. My sister was called Anna. My sister is dead. My sister was three years younger than me. My sister died twelve years ago. My sister didn't just die. My sister was murdered. Twelve years ago, my sister was murdered. And I found her. I saw her murderer run away. I saw the murderer's face. The murderer was a man. The murderer turned his face towards me, then he ran away. I don't know why he ran away. I don't know why he didn't attack me. I only know that my sister is dead. And I'm not. My therapist describes me as highly traumatised. This is my life. This is me. I don't really want to think about it. I swing my legs over the edge of the bed and get up. That's what I mean to do anyway, but in fact I don't budge an inch. I wonder whether I'm paralysed. I have no strength in my arms and legs. I try again. But it's as if the feeble commands from my brain aren't getting through to my limbs. Maybe it doesn't matter if I lie here for a moment. It's morning. But it's not as if I have anything other than an empty house waiting for me. I give up the struggle. My body feels strangely heavy. I stay in bed. But I don't go back to sleep. The next time I look at the clock on the wooden bedside table, six hours have passed. That surprises me. It's not good. The faster time passes, the faster night will come. And I'm afraid of the night, in spite of all the lamps in the house.